Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia uh, quick tip. So a patron uh, pointed me to uh, some works from Bastard Films here and he made coincidentally the same thing like I made in my last tutorial here. And yeah, but without foam. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and the patron asked me, did you see that they are swimming uh, some sharks in uh, the water? And he asked me if it, there is a, a simple way to animate the sharks. Because we have a shark in uh, the asset browser or in the content browser. And yeah, it's, and uh, I show you a quick way. Here I think, it, yeah, yeah, here you have the sharks as well. Is it, this is not totally natural, but uh, the same thing we can do. And uh, yeah, so I want to show you quick how to this, how you do this. Yeah, by the way, uh, Bastard Films made this uh, uh, before I made this tutorial. So this he did not copy anything or something else. This is just a coincidence that I did something like this and he did it. So uh, it has nothing to do with my tutorial. So he made it. As I said, he made it before my tutorial, so his his own idea and everything. So I just wanted to, to you know this. So, so it has nothing to do with my tutorial. What Buster Film does, or that did. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, first of all, we have to go in the asset browser or content browser, or somewhere, and please search for the shark. You see, we have here the shark. I drag it in. And I need just one, copy it and bring it in a new file. So now I bring this in the middle of the scene. So somewhere I should have the restore thing, reset position as well. But anyways, uh, attributes, coordinates, and here. zero, 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 and we have it here. Here is our shark, and you see already we have a paint deformer here, and must be an older model because it's called <laughs> Hypernerves. This is a long time ago. This is the subdivision surface, and with the paint deformer, we already can see when we play with it, we can animate the. But here we have a little problem we want to keep the length so and now we can animate this make it a little longer here so oops, 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 oops. don't know exactly how far it is I'm not the shark whisperer so but I think when we animate this 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 could work I think maybe a little longer so, uh, maybe something like that. Okay. Now let's animate this. So let's say from minus 35 to plus 35. Good. So I go to frame zero. Make, let's go let's see to 35. Make a keyframe. Then I go to frame 25. For me, it's in one second. And I go to minus 35. Okay. Then I go to my timeline and simply, first of all, I want here a smooth animation. So I go to ease, ease here. So we get a smooth curve. Do you see the curve here? See, whoops. And after the animation, after 25 frames, I want to oscillate. So that means it animates the whole time. Let's go here to 200 frames. And we have here our animation. And now we simply have to uh, let the, the shark swimming around. So for this I make, because we made a sphere, so, so we want to make here a circle. Bring the circle to see here, so make the circle bigger, oopsie, T for scale, what is wrong here, yeah, okay, no, 
scales it up so something like that and now we have two ways to do this so i go in here to hide the uh lines first of all i want this little smoother okay the first way is we can animate this with a uh, line to spline tag here you see we have here the align to spline tag and here align to spline i want it tangential of course and bring the circle as a path inside so and if we change the position okay here it goes in the wrong direction but we can go in the minus so we can do this like this we cannot simply uh, reverse here the sphere. Uh, let's see, maybe we can. No, it would go in the wrong direction as well. So it doesn't matter. This it doesn't matter in which direction we have. So, oops. Good. And now simply let's go here to frame zero on so on frame zero. I start make a keyframe and on frame 200 in my case the so last frame I go to minus 100 here and make it with key so we have our animation this would be the first thing and I think it's the Buster Films did it this way but I want that the shark is a little more bended so that it's not so straight and if you want it like this, like I said it now, so we can utilize instead of the line the spline, we can utilize the deformer, the spline wrapper. So I bring the spline wrapper under the shark null, so it it uh, affects everything beyond. So uh, go to the deformer. I have the shark null selected and I go to my spline wrapper here. Hold my shift key so it will be a child of the shark. Okay, great. Now, uh, spline wrap, I drag in the circle here. Whoops, looks great. <laughs> I don't want to fit the spline. And you see, okay, this is not the wrong, uh, this is the wrong axis, not the, this is the wrong axis. Here, that looks better. And when I go to minus C, uh, you see this is upside down. So here we can go to the circle and reverse the circle. Now we have the shark here. And we can animate the shark via the offset here. You see? I want that it swims like this, so in uh, counterclockwise. Not clockwise, not counterclockwise, clockwise. So, okay, go back here, make a simple keyframe again, so it's zero, frame zero, I make a keyframe, last frame, I go to frame 200, 100%, uh, and zack. And now, I think that looks a little more natural. This is fun, this. <laughs> let's hide here, but maybe the other direction so the, the tail fin could go a little further out maybe what i mean is so let's go with the height the bend and height the spline the vector so that means i go to frame 25 here where it goes out here and i want this a little more out here so this means I go to the paint deformer here in the strength and let's say something like that minus, minus 70 and make the keyframe let's see how this looks and that looks better for me and we have our swimming shark so easy it can be <laughs> and i think uh, it's exactly it's exactly like a bastard film made it here so and of course i can uh, 
drag it along as every spline you want, but in this case I think it's of course a, a circle spline. And yeah, that's it so far. Here we have another one. You see. Okay. This was the quick tip. Uh, and the next tutorial will come very soon, I think. So, uh, uh, meanwhile, I feel a lot better and uh, yeah, everything works like I want. I'm quite happy with the, the S, uh, with the S, the R26. Should be S26, but anyway, should, uh, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, we have a lot of new modeling uh, things and uh, new nodes and the, 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 the dynamics so the, the, the cloth and everything is much better now so so we have uh, maybe I do so, so some some uh, uh, not a tutorial just a video with uh, to show my favorite new things or something else and I still working on the new uh, material uh, my, my, my scene rigs uh, because they are, uh, this is, is a little more problematic with, with the asset browser, but uh, it will work. I'll show you in the next uh, short tip uh, how you can make your own render settings quickly, so to insert your own render settings. So when I go to my startup here, uh, let's bring this. You see, I have here my render settings, so I can quickly put in some render settings when I go here. Don't say put in. Uh, when I go here, I have only the viewport, but when I want my octane settings, check, it brings in the octane settings, or I want the high or high GI, and, and everything works here fine. And I will show you how you can set up something like this here. It's quite easy, so this is nothing complicated and it's very practical I think when you have it here okay that's it for now I wish you all a wonderful Sunday and yeah have a nice time and all the best here from Austria Vienna tschüss und baba